Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over 11 things you can do in your copy of Scarlet and Violet to help you best prepare for when the Indigo Disc DLC Part 2 drops later this week. So diving straight into it, the first one might seem very self-explanatory, but it does state over on the Pokemon website, in order to begin the main story, Part 2, the Indigo Disc, you will need to have reached the ending of Pokemon Scarlet or Violet game and complete the main story of part one, the Teal Mask. This, as I say, sounds very self-explanatory, but when the Indigo Disc does go live, if you haven't complete the main story in both the base game and in the DLC pack part one, the Teal Mask, you aren't going to be able to access the Indigo Disc. So make sure before you do anything else, Come the 14th of December, you've done both of these things. You've complete the base storyline in both of those games. And while you're at it, you may as well complete the post game in both of these areas as well. In Paldea, you can rebattle the gym leaders. And that is going to unlock the Ace Academy tournament, which is going to be a facility to rebattle a lot of the gym leaders and the elite four members from around the region, as well as giving you a way to farm money, which we'll get to later on in this video. After unlocking the Ace Academy tournament, you can also make sure to unlock six star terror raids. Once you finish the base games, you will have access to five star terror raids. But to unlock six star terror raids, you're going to need to beat the Ace Academy tournament and then take on around 10 five-star raids. This will unlock the feature and it will also make getting Herba Mystica a lot easier as well as unlocking facilities for accessing seven-star terror raid events in future when they do drop. In the post game of Kitakami, you can go and take on the Ogre Clan quest. So these are trainers with very high level Pokemon and they're going to be a good test for you and your team going in ahead of the Indigo Disc. If you're putting a team together to go in against the trainers from the Blueberry Academy, this is a really good warm up for you to go in against these trainers. Although these are singles battles and everything in the Blueberry Academy is doubles, it still shows whether or not your team is up to scratch to be able to beat these trainers and definitely something that might be helpful in the post game of Kitakami. You can also make sure to catch the Loyal 3 as well. These are available to catch after you've complete the main storyline in Kitakami. You can go around the various areas of Kitakami and catch these high level and exclusive Pokemon. The next thing we're going to talk about is farming Herba Mystica. It's one of the most important items if you are planning to do any shiny hunting in the Indigo Disc. We're going to have a lot more Pokemon available to us when this DLC pack drops. And if you're wanting to shiny hunt any of these Pokemon, one item that you're going to want to have in your arsenal is going to be Herba Mystica. This exclusive and special item when you put it in a sandwich can give you the sparkling level 3 power, which will increase the shiny odds of any Pokemon that you're hunting, making them a lot easier to find using this method. You can farm Herba Mystica very easily utilizing 5 and 6 star terror raids. These are item drops that you're going to get from specific Pokemon when you defeat them in the raid environment. And also in Kitakami, if you visit this NPC character here and collect all of the tablecloths from around the Paldea region, you'll get a full set of Herba Mystica gifted to you. And if you want to know more details about that, check out this video that we've got on the channel already showing you everything that you need to know with how you can access this free Herba Mystica in game right now. As we know from a bunch of the preview information that we've had on the Indigo Disc, there are going to be a lot of new items accessible when we go to the Blueberry Academy. And all these items are going to cost a lot of money. So you don't want to find yourself short scraping around for money when you're playing through these DLC packs. So make sure before you go into them, you've got enough poker dollars to last you throughout your playthrough. One of the best ways to farm money is through the Ace Academy tournament and you can just run through this with specific Pokemon holding the amulet coin to allow you to acquire money very, very quickly. Again, we have a guide on the channel that you can check out. I'll link it down in the description. Talking about items in the Indigo Disc, one of the items that you're going to want to make sure you are well stocked up on is Quick Balls, Poker Balls, Ultra Balls, all of those sort of balls that you're going to want to catch all of these new Pokemon in. You can also go as far as to get some of these special apps Capricorn balls that are available to buy from the auction house. Now these do cost a lot of money, but it is one of the best ways to farm these items and make sure you can get a lot of them in particular so you can get those special Pokemon when they are introduced in the terrarium in whatever special Apricorn ball you would like. Another thing to make sure you are stocked up on is sandwich ingredients. Now we know from the data mined information there is going to be an array of new sandwich recipes available to us with the Indigo Disc. So just making sure that you have all the essential ingredients that we already have access to 
going into this DLC is going to put you in a really good position to be able to make these new sandwiches, take advantage of the new powers when they become available. You can go around any of the deli counters and the supply stores in Paldea and make sure that you are topped up on all of these ingredients. Another thing to do is complete the Paldea Pokedex for the shiny charm. If you are planning on shiny hunting any of the new starter Pokemon that will be available in the wild in the Indigo Disc and anything else that is returning in these DLCs, then having the shiny charm is going to make this so much easier for you. Completing the Paldea Pokedex is a pretty easy task, 400 Pokemon in total. And once you do that, you'll be gifted the shiny charm, which is going to dramatically increase the shiny chances of you finding shiny Pokemon. And while you're at completing Pokedexes, you may as well complete the Kitakami Pokedex as well. And when you do that, you actually get given another charm. And this one is going to be the Glimmering Charm, which increases the amount of Terror Shards that are dropped every time you complete a Terror Raid. And probably Loki not talked about enough because it's going to increase the amount of Terror Shards, make Terror Shard farming so much easier for you to take advantage of changing the Terror type on your Pokemon to make them that bit more competitively viable. And the final thing to do before the Indigo Disc drops is make sure you've trained up a team of competitive Pokemon. Get them all to level 100. Make sure you have hyper trained them. You can do that in Montenavira using bottle caps. Make sure you EV them using vitamins. Make sure that you put the maximum amount of EVs in. Each Pokemon can have a total of 510 EVs. That will further increase their stats, making them that much bit stronger. Make sure you put items on your Pokemon. We know from the previews that all of the Blueberry trainers are going to be taking advantage of items. So make sure you're keeping up to par with them at least. Use items like the Life Orb, like Expert Belt, which are going to further increase the damage output of your Pokemon. You can use defensive items as well, like the Safety Goggles, if you're worried about getting put to sleep from things like Spore, Sleep Powder. You can use Seed Items as well to take advantage of terrains. But make sure you're using your item choices and your move choices next to Pokemon that complement each other that are going to cover bases against specific weaknesses. So you're going to have as best a chance as possible going up against these Blueberry Academy trainers. We've done a full video on the channel already going over some doubles Pokemon that you can use to good success going into the Indigo Disc. Again, this will be linked down in the description and up in the right hand corner of the video if you want to check that out after the video to give yourself some inspiration or maybe some ideas about what Pokemon you'd like to use going into the Indigo Disc. And that about does it for today's video. These are 11 things that you can do in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to help you prepare going into the Indigo Disc these new DLCs when they drop later this week. I'm very excited for these games. I think the most important thing out of everything though is just make sure you finish the base games because if you haven't done that, you're not going to be able to access the Indigo Disc when it does drop and that would be quite sad knowing that it's out and that you've got to run through the game beforehand. So make sure you do that one and also train up a team because I think people are underestimating how strong some of these trainers are going to be when we go into the Indigo Disc. They're going to have high level Pokemon and the trainers are going to be using common double strategies. So it's going to make it even more difficult, especially if you're just trying to run through with high level Pokemon that have no synergy together. You might find it very difficult. But with that said, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed today's video, friends, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Skull and Violet content. We will be streaming the whole playthrough of the Indigo Disc when it does drop later this week. So very excited about that. Would love you to join if you are around when that goes live and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye